What's up guys, welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna be showing you how to move a WordPress website to a new domain. And this process is called migration. So why would you want to move a WordPress website? Well, maybe you bought a new domain name that wasn't available before when you first started your website. Or maybe you bought a website from someone and you'd like to move it over to your own domain. Or maybe you switched hosting companies. Whatever the reason, I'm gonna show you how to move it with just one simple plugin. Okay, so let's get started. Step number one is to get a domain name. So if you don't have a domain name, then you won't have anywhere to move your WordPress website to. So let me show you where to get a good one. So if you need a domain or a hosting plan, go ahead and click on the first link in the description, or you can just go to createaprowebsite.com slash hosting. And this will take you to a special co-branded landing page I have with HostGator, where you can get a domain name and a hosting plan for a huge discount. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the cheapest plan, which is the Hatchling. And then here is where you can just register a new domain name. So you can type in any domain you want, like createacoolwebsite.com, which I own this one, so it's gonna come up as negative, but this is where you can search for a new domain. And if you scroll down, you can add privacy protection to that domain, you can change your hosting plan, and you can just enter in your billing info, add uh, additional services, or uncheck them if you'd like. And then you can see we've got our coupon code here, which is just create a pro website. And that's what gets you your massive discount. And this is my affiliate link. So I do receive a little bit of commission for this, but this just kind of funds these free YouTube tutorials that I'm doing and it saves you money. So it's a win-win for both. But if you just need a domain name and you don't need a hosting plan, you can just go back to the HostGator symbol up here to go back to home and then you can just click on domains and then you can just register a domain right here and buy it by itself. Okay, now step number two is to install WordPress to this new domain, which you can do so by clicking on the very first link in the description. And that will show you how to do it in less than 60 seconds and it's totally step by step, super easy to do. So once you've done that, now we can move on to step number three, which is to install the migration plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the current website that I have that I want to move over to a new domain. So what we want to do is install a plugin on this account. So we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard for this website that I just showed you. And we're just going to go over to plugins and then go over to add new. Now just go up to the search bar at the top right and type in all in one. And then you'll see all in one WordPress migration right here. So what we want to do is just install this plugin and then go ahead and activate it. So that plugin has now been activated. Okay, so now once you've done that, we can move on to step number four, which is to migrate your site. Now what we're gonna be doing is installing that same plugin on the site that we wanna to move to, and then we're going to be actually be transferring the whole site over. So it's done in just two quick steps. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, if we go to the menu on the left and scroll down until you see all-in-one WordPress migration, you can just go over to export, and this is where we're gonna be able to export our website. So if we just go over to the little export to button and click on it, we're gonna be exporting a file. Now, a quick tip is to also export one to Google Drive or any other drive that's on the internet so that you can access it from any computer. It's always nice to have a backup of your website somewhere on the internet. But for right now, we're just gonna do file. And this should only take a few minutes. So now just click on the download button right here. And now you can see it's now downloading to our downloads folder. Okay, so now we wanna go ahead and move the file that we just downloaded from our old domain name over to our new one. So as you can see, our new one over here on the right is completely blank. And if you check the domains, they're different. So we've got create a cool website, which is the new one, and then Dale N. McManus, which is my name, which is the old one. So first, let's just go to the dashboard for our new WordPress domain name. So we're just gonna go to the back button, which will take me to my dashboard. I'm gonna open up the menu, and we're gonna go back to plugins, and then we're just gonna go down to add new, and then just search for plugins right here and search for all in one, one more time, and then just scroll down and you'll see the same plugin that we did for the old website. You'll just wanna install that one and then activate it. 
Awesome, so now that that's activated, we're just gonna go back to the menu and we're gonna scroll down until we see all-in-one WordPress migration. And then you're just going to click on import. So we just wanna export from this site and then import onto this site. So I'm just gonna to go to import from and then just click on file. And then just go ahead and grab that file that we downloaded earlier. So it's most likely in your downloads folder, unless you moved it somewhere else. In my case, I just moved it onto my desktop. So I'm gonna select that file and then click on open. And then just give this a minute to load. And it will say this import process is going to overwrite the current website that's on this domain. And that's okay, because it was just our basic WordPress template. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on proceed. And I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this so it stops bouncing. <laughs> now it says your site has been imported successfully. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on finish. Now just go up to home and then go over to visit site. And I'm gonna go ahead and visit site on the old website as well so we can compare. Awesome, so as you can see, the websites are exactly the same. So as I scroll down, everything matches, which is awesome. Okay guys, so that was how to move a WordPress website to a new domain. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel because the more subscribers I get, the more opportunity I have to create helpful tutorials. And if you wanna be notified of more videos like this, then feel free to hit that little notification bell on your screen. All right guys, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.